the drone. Larry, what's up? What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today we've got tons of GTR goodness. Something really cool before I start this video. If you watch the Japan videos, you remember that I went to Garage Saurus back in Tokyo. Well, recently, Larry and Fujita over here got into a warehouse together, so it's half Skyline Syndicate yeah. and half Garage Saurus America, which is really cool. So, Fujita officially has his business up and running, right? Yep, it's That's fully super running, cool. So. And good for Larry, because Larry just got his GTR back. What'd you get done to your GTR? Right here, here's the $10,000 sticker. Six months and $10,000 sticker, right there, boom. California legal. For me today, we are doing something that the GTR desperately, desperately needs. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that a company called Tuner Market actually sent me a little care package to my PO box and they sent me a Nismo oil filter. Fujita recently got oil imported from Japan, so this is some Modi's. What's the significance of the Modi's oil in a GTR? It just runs different. It's cleaner, the car just feels different. You gotta try it. If you're, if you're a Skyline guy, you have like these little quirks on like specific things that you need to make these motors run correctly and I guess Modi's is just one of those things it's just you just know okay we're putting Modi's in the car today I'm sure some of you Skyline guys know exactly what that is I have no one else other than Fujita-san working on the GTR today Hi. <laughs> Now, I don't actually know the differences between the OEM oil filter and the Nismo oil filter but we're gonna go ahead and unbox it just to kind of check it out here I think it looks pretty cool Anyways, that it. is pretty rad. Cool little Here's things something. on the GTR. See? Very the tight. washer is smashed up. Yeah. Supposed to be so it was too moment. tight before. Why is Mahdi's better? We're trying to explain it. My first thing, you know, feels yeah, then like, uh, special. We clean up inside the engine. Oh, yeah. that's what it does. Right. When you drain that oil, it's actually cleaner when it comes out. Or it comes out dirty, but then it's flushing your engine out, so it takes all the crap out. I see. That's pretty cool. Yeah, whoever changed this oil before me tightened it just a little bit too tight. It's bent. When we're done with my car, I want to show you guys Chris's car because he has a pretty insane build going on right now. And I think they're going to be able to start it this week. Yeah. It's going to be cool. Friday. New one. Good to go? Yep. The cool thing about working with Fujita is he knows all the little secrets and in and outs with these motors and with these cars. So it's cool to see him work and do his thing. So if you guys don't know, the oil filter is all the way down on the side of the actual motor on the GTRs. It's kind of like on the Z as well. Perfect. So it's literally a GTR tool. That's super cool. If you guys don't know, when you're working on GTRs, everything is just a little bit weird, like in weird angles and stuff. So Fujita actually has tools that are specifically made for doing certain things. Like even on the intake, remember when we did the oh, intake? Yeah. There's a special Allen tool that you need to get back and loosen up the stock intake piping. Same thing with the oil filter. Oil filter is out. Nice work, Fujita. The reason why it took so long to do an oil change in this car is because this stuff got stuck at customs coming from Japan, so. So we have to actually mix the modis. We can make it some, if you wanna go straight or circuit, we can change. That's so cool. Yeah, so one of the main reasons I came to see Fujita for this is because the oil is special too. You can either make it for when your car is running hotter if you're going to the track, or you can make it cooler yeah. if you're just street driving. So, so street driver going to more softer oil. Right. Then circuit guy right. going to more hotter. I That's think. cool. Before Fujita actually puts in the oil, he's gonna mix it up and make it perfect for what this car is. So we're doing 3.2 quarts of the M11040 as well. 1.5 to heavier. 1.5 for heavier. 3.2 and 1.5, 4.7, which is what we need for the GTR. With boyfriend. Let 
the motor run for a little bit. Get the oil and kind of go through the motor a little bit before we check it. Car is back on the ground and we're checking out the oil right now. This is what we were talking about with the Modi's oil. Wow, that is like super black. Now we just did an oil change. Vegeta, would you explain like why it's still black like that? That was inside duty taking off right. for the Modi's oil. So. so the Modi's oil actually picks up all the dirtiness inside of the engine whenever you put it in. So that's why if you were to put like regular oil in, it'd be clean. But since Modi's picks up all of that dirt and oil and stuff, it's actually flushing out the engine. So what do you think we have to do? We have to flush it again? Maybe soon. We're not going to flush it right now. We actually need to let it run its course through the engine actually. And then about 3,000 kilometers, we'll come back, flush it out, and hopefully we'll have a clean engine again. So before I can leave, I told you guys I would show you Chris's car, which is getting the full rebuild. Okay, before we reveal what, what the engine cover looks like, Garage Soros is insane. And this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen on any GTR. Yeah. Okay, pull it off. That cover is insane. You can't see what's inside of it. I know. Do you know what's inside of it? All I know is it's 2.8. There's a bunch of like special source parts. Yeah. And it's capable of over 800. That's crazy, dude. I love all the vents and it has source cut out. Can't really see on camera. There you go. Wow. Makes me want to do mine. Even has the source logo cut in right there too. Holy crap. So this thing is supposedly supposed to start up this week or this weekend, something like that. So I do want to come back for the first startup because it's going to be crazy. Wait, I want to, I need to settle this right now, Fujita. Say the name of my seat. See, no Bright. one believes me. No, everybody Bright. watching. Bright. It's Bright. Brito Japan. Brid. Brid. Bright Brid. Japan. No. It's Brid. No, English is Bright. I know it, but you know, in Japan, we pronounce Brit. It's settled. There you go. You guys, <laughs> you guys can't argue with me anymore. No, no. So that, I guess you know the pronunciation is different because this is English for bride. I know it, but you know maybe Japanese people misspelling whatever they said bread, not the bride. Done deal. Done. <laughs> this is exactly how all the cars in Japan are. I just feel like I'm back in Japan now. Uh, <laughs> quick release steering wheel on the cube too. Oh my. We need some. We need to put some some cube mods on the channel. No, <laughs> this is full SR20 negative. coming soon. Yeah, SR20. No, that, yeah. that you want an SR20? One? This? Oh my gosh, SR20 cube. I'm down for it. All wheel drive. I'd love to see that. So oil change is done for now at least. 3,000 kilometers, I'll be back. If you guys have a GTR and need maintenance on your car, be sure to hit up Doris USA on Instagram. They'll get back to you on scheduling and stuff to bring your own GTR in and to get some work done at the official USA Garage Soros, which is actually pretty freaking awesome. I'm gonna head back home now. Vegeta san thank you very much. Thank you very much, thank you for coming. Yes. Larry's GTR. This is so cool. All three GTRs together. All right, guys. Good to see everyone. Peace. I'll see you later see this you, week. Okay. Nice to meet you, bro. Good to meet you, bro. It's definitely cool. Yes, an oil change is super easy to do, but coming and supporting someone like Fujita, who's bringing the Japanese culture to America with Garage Source, is always that much cooler to come and hang out with everybody, see everybody's GTRs, and I don't know. I just think that was really cool. All right, I'll see you guys when I get home. We have made it back to the shop. Huge thank you to Fujita for giving me one of the Modi's flag banners. Me and Danny just had a bunch of fun. You guys will see that <laughs> coming in a couple of videos from now, but made it back safe, rearranged the shop a little bit. We have some awesome content with the BRZ coming up for you guys, so be sure to stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please like the video and also subscribe. We're almost to 400K, that's a goal. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. P.S. The GTR has been running amazing with the new one.